हाय एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल लर्न कॉमर्स विद नमिता आई एम नमिता माने इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज इनकम फ्रॉम बिजनेस एंड प्रोफेशन विच इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज इनकम फ्रॉम प्रॉफिट एंड गेन्स ऑफ बिजनेस और प्रोफेशन सो दिस इज द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ बिजनेस profession then what are the basis of charges or taxable income under uh, business and profession and the format or computation of income from business and profession so let's start the session now first of all we will try to understand the meaning of business now section 2 subsection 13 of income tax act business means the purchase and sell or manufacture of a commodity with a view to make profit what does business mean business means the purchase or sell or manufacture of a commodity what is the um, purpose behind manufacturing of a commodity or sell of a commodity or purchase of a commodity the purpose is to make the profit okay so business is what to make the profit now it includes business includes any trade commerce or manufacture or any adventure or concern which adventure which is concern in the nature of trade commerce and manufacture is called as business or meaning of business now in business it is important that the intention of purchase or manufacturing of any goods or any commodity it should be to sell at a profit this is the meaning of business next is the meaning of profession now section 2 sub section 36 profession means profession means the activities for earning livelihood which requires intellectual skills or manual skill profession uh, profession means what the any activity okay which requires intellectual skill or manual skill like for example work of a lawyer then doctor auditor engineer or teachers this is these are what the nature of profession okay profession is what the profession is the activity for earning livelihood which requires intellectual skills or manual skills like work of a lawyer now lawyer is what expert in the field of law okay then doctor he is a uh, expert in the field of medical okay in medicines then auditor is expert in the uh, in the field of accountancy in the field of taxation then engineers are expert in the field of construction okay so this is what profession now profession includes what vocation profession also includes what vocation now what is vocation vocation implies natural ability okay vocation means what a natural ability of a person to do some particular work like example singing dancing etc so this type of singing dancing does not require any training or any qualification is not required okay but it requires what natural ability okay so vocation is what it is the activity which are performed in order to earn some money okay to earn livelihood now to become a lawyer he has to complete his law degree to become a doctor they have to uh, complete uh, they have to complete the M mbbs okay so this will come under profession to be uh, for lawyer for doctors why they are under profession uh, profession why because they require some training they require some type of qualification whereas in vocation it does not require any training it does not require any qualification it only requires what natural ability okay like suppose singing dancing or sportsman 
okay so he is uh, a nat- the, uh, for sportsman it is a natural ability to do some particular work to play some uh, games okay like for example cricket football okay so it doesn't require any type of to become a cricketer to become a footballer it doesn't require any qualification it is just the natural ability where they require skills to play the games okay so this is vocation and through that they earn some t- they earn some income okay so it will be called as income from business or profession now section 28 basis of charge now the following incomes are chargeable or uh, means what are taxable under the head of profit gains or of business or profession or means business income from business or profession so there are some type of incomes which are chargeable to income tax or which are taxable to income tax under the head of income from business or profession or you can say it as profit or gain profit and gains from business or profession so first is revenue profit from business or profession so any type of profit or gains from any business okay or profession which was carried by the assessee means the owner of that business at any time during the previous year okay any type of revenue profit okay generated or earned from business or profession it will be taxable or it will be chargeable under uh, to income tax under this head next is any compensation due to or received by an agent so any compensation due to due to or received by any agent is also chargeable to income tax under this head next is income of trade association now income from trade association means what any income okay which is generated or which is earned by trade professional or similar association from specific service prof- performed from its member will be chargeable under this head next receipts in connection with foreign trade now foreign trade means what any trade okay that is made in foreign country any income arising from that is considered as an income from business and profession and it is chargeable means receipts in connection with foreign trade means what any trade which is made in foreign countries okay and whatever income is arising from that trade which is done in foreign country will be taxable or will be chargeable under this head next is value of any benefit next is and value of any benefits or perquisite from business or profession okay this will be chargeable under income from business and profession now perquisite means what any benefit other than salary okay so if any perquisite or any benefit which is uh, which are related to business or profession then it will be chargeable under this head next remuneration to partners from firm so remuneration means the salary which is paid to the partners and it should be related to the partnership firm so it will be chargeable under the income from business and profession so remuneration to partners a uh, partner from firm any interest salary bonus commission or remuneration due to or received by partner of firm from the firm provided that it has been allowed as deduction in computation of taxable profit of such firm okay so any remuneration paid uh, to the partner it will be chargeable or taxable under this head next is amount received or receivable for certain business agreement so suppose if any business agreement is made and if there is some type of income which is to uh, which is to be earned from this type of agreement okay and this agreement is related to business then it is chargeable under this head next is key man insurance policy 
now what is scheme and insurance policy now suppose if any accident okay happens to the employee while work while working at uh, some uh, time okay so scheme and insurance policy is given to that employee as a recovery okay so scheme and insurance policy is given to whom to the worker who is working okay in the business and due, unfortunately or due to some circumstances that worker or that employee met with an accident so that to recover okay to recover his health the scheme and insurance policy is given so any income uh, generated through this it will be chargeable then next is interest on securities so interest on security if the business of the assessee is to invest in security otherwise security interest on security shall be chargeable to income tax under the head income from other resources now a uh, suppose some interest okay if the owner of the business has a uh, invested in security and some interest is uh, coming okay so that means income is generated on that security so it will be chargeable under this head then la next is recovery against certain capital assets covered under section 35 ad so any recovery against certain capital assets of the business will be chargeable under this head last is on uh, basis of charge that is income from speculative transaction so if any income which is to be uh, earned through or arised from the speculative transaction will be charged or will be taxable under income from business or profession so speculative transaction means a transaction in which a contract for the purchase or sale of any commodity including stock share is settled otherwise then by actual delivery or transfer of commodity okay so that is income from speculative transaction and it is chargeable uh, under income from business or profession so these are some basis of uh, charge under this head now next we'll see how to compute or the format of uh, income from business or profession okay so this is the format of computation of income from business and profession so this format you have to prepare while solving the sum of income from business and profession now remember one thing okay before computation of income from business and profession uh, student you should remember or you should note that if in question okay profit and loss or income and expenditure is given then it is what it is to be considered as income from business and suppose if in question or if in problem receipts and payment account is given then it means that it is income from profession so for both the thing okay the format is same okay so for computation of income for business and profession this is the format okay so now let's see how to solve or how to understand this format okay as per this format we have to solve the solution or we have to solve the problem in the question okay so particulars amount okay now first is given what net profit as per profit and loss account so net profit as per profit and loss account will be given in the question you have to write down the value in the amount column next is what in net profit as per uh, like in net profit we have to add what we have to add disallowed expenses okay now what is disallowed expenses disallowed expenses means those expenses which are not related to the business okay those are called as disallowed expenses 
so there are some expenses will be given in the question we have to identify that which expenses are disallowed expenses means which are not related to business we have to identify so these are some disallowed expenses okay so this disallowed expenses we have to add in what we have to add in net profit as per profit and loss account so disallowed expenses we have to add now see one by one we will check the disallowed expenses now household expenses personal expenses capital expenses lic premium charity donation provisions and any reserves okay these are disallowed expenses now these household expenses are what or uh, personal expenses it th these are the personal expenses of the owner of the business okay then excess salary paid to the relative okay excess salary means extra salary paid to the owner's relative so that is called as disallowed expenses then any type of provisions of gst proprietor salary proprietor means the owner of the business okay uh, is called as the proprietor if it is his salary okay this is what personal so it is called as disallowed expenses then interest on capital interest on drawings or drawings okay then excess of depreciation okay as per income tax there is a fixed depreciation allowed and if above that the uh, amount is excess okay it is more than that then we have to then that uh, extra amount or it will be considered as disallowed expenses then outstanding expenses under section 43b then payment made in cash in excess of rupees 20000 if any payment by the uh, customer to the owner of that business if it is more than 20000 then it is called as disallowed expenses if it is within the 20000 then it is chargeable to income tax then next is income tax wealth tax gift tax advance tax uh, contribution to political party contribution to ppf or uh, urpf okay P public provident fund and unrecognized uh, provident fund so whatever contribution is made to those type of fund will be considered as disallowed expenses under income from business and profession then all capital losses then gst penalty then free benefit tax under valuation of closing stock or over valuation of opening stock then income taxable as business uh, income income taxable as business income but not credited to p and l accounts such as interest received on business investment sales of asset use for scientific research okay so this all are called as what disallowed expenses and this all we have to identify in the problem in the question and we have to add them in the net profit okay then what to reduce okay less is what less is expenses or losses allowed but not debited to p and l account okay so expenses or losses allowed but not debited to p and l account we have to less next is income not taxable as business income but credited to profit and loss account so now which are those income like income from house property income from house property rent okay is not the income for business it is personal okay then deb bad debts recovered then refund of income tax, gift, dividend received, interest on fixed deposit or debentures bond, winning from lotteries, profit on sale of capital asset, profit on sale of investment, grants and subsidiary received, then income from speculative transaction. This all incomes are not taxable. Uh, uh, income not taxable as business income but credited to profit and loss account so this all we have to reduce okay so see net profit value you will write 
then whatever disallowed expenses is there you will add in net profit then balance will be remaining and from that balance you have to reduce all this expenses or losses okay allowed but not debited to profit and loss account and finally after deducting all these expenses all these incomes not tax, uh, taxable as business income but credited to pnl account after deducting that finally we will get what income from business okay so this is the format of computation of income from business and profession okay so this is very important format as per this format we are going to solve or we are going to compute the income from business and profession okay so i hope you have understood today's session that is income from business and profession in next lecture we will take the, uh, the example and we will solve it okay thank you very much please subscribe my youtube channel like and share the video and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the latest notification